into it. So in essence, um, what you'll want is basically every avenue. Um, there's, if you're going to be doing the blogging avenue, you definitely want Tumblr. You'll definitely want um, to get some of your posts on LinkedIn so you can go publish your status. You'll definitely want um, also You'll also want about me um, and let me just about me page. Yes. Right. You'll also want um, I think it's actually just on my blog. So this is my blog. It's can it's pretty full. Um, there's a lot that goes on about it, but I hardly post on it anymore. Okay. So yeah, that should be just about it. Um, you'll probably want to get on Empower if you're not already. Okay. Yeah. Empower is just a, is another social. Yeah, it's another social media site. Okay. Um. It pays out as well, but they have a blogging platform inside of their system. Right. So if you go to it, you'll be able to start your own blogging platform inside of their system. So it's oh. one of those things to where some of your content will want to be, you know, just some of your key posts or whichever, you know, if you've got a blog going, whichever posts are getting, you know, the most traction, the most information or most hits or reactions or interactions. Right. Start placing those other places. So, like, I have plenty of stuff on my blog, but the only content that I post everywhere else is my Millionaire in Trainings Knowledge Blast content. Okay. So, that's also here. That's also on Facebook. That's also on LinkedIn. Okay. Um, that content goes multiple places. Okay. It's on Tumblr. Um, it's, in a, it's in a bunch of different places. Okay. So you want to make sure that uh, your content, so here's, here's all of my knowledge blast, which I haven't even finished putting all on LinkedIn because it's up to 16 now. Um, I've been focusing on the YouTube market of it, which is another place that you can start doing video blogs as well. Okay. Um, so you have all of that, uh, which YouTube, I think I've only done up to five. Okay. Yeah. I only went up to Knowledge Blast 5. So you're dropping more of those on YouTube. Um, you know, just having the many different parts of it will continue to get you ranked up in uh, Google to where you want to be, you know, you want to take over your namespace. Right. So here's Carla Curtis. There's obviously six or seven other people here. Okay. Uh, but I doubt any of them are really marketing online. So you want to okay. take over this space. Okay. I never thought of that. Yeah, this should be all you. Okay. Just like this. This is all me, the entire first page. So whenever anybody looks up Cam Calendar, they're going to see nothing but me. Okay. Um, it even goes into the second page and somewhat of the third. Okay. That's a great idea. So um, I'll definitely want that. Um, you'll probably want to get on board with Sue as well, another social media site that pays. Um, this one, not so much as, as far as the, the blogging of it. Um, but you will at least be able to connect with some other people that are at least looking to get some information or looking to, you know, earn online. So they might resonate with you a little bit more, especially if your content is all geared towards that. Okay. Uh, definitely recommend having uh, the LSN system for any contacts and page creation. Okay. So this is what I was talking about with creating pages. So all of these different pages all have videos. My site runs completely on automation. Wow. Everything goes through my website. It has videos already. All of these play. 
all of these different videos. They can enter their information and join absolutely free to my site. So uh, you, you have a lot of um, subscribers? Yes, I have like 160 now. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so they, they all log in directly to my system. They all, you know, follow the, the system that I have and everything that I've built instantly gets shared with them. So all of these pages they have access to. Sort of like um, a funnel, right? Correct. Yeah, they're all funneled. Uh, they all go to different spots. And, you know, with what I have set up for my team is this is all built instantly so they can all get access to it, you know, day right. one. They don't have to go in and start creating pages. They don't have to learn all of that. They can use this until they build up their skills, you know, and get set with everything else. It allows them to, you know, get get in really fast and start moving really fast. So that way that they can really grow, you know, as far as however they want to present their business. So now uh, with your blog here, it's still on coming soon under construction. Do you have a functional site right now that I can view? Uh, yeah. Agency? Um, so how do I do that? Just go. Uh, yeah, if you click on a uh, new share, it should be a green button right in the middle there and you'll be able to share your screen. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just stop mine here. Okay. So should have a green share screen button. Oh, there we go. Okay. So <clears throat> share screen like that. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I have a lot of content written out. Which is which is really good to um, launch your site that way. You know, before it gets fully facing, to have all of your content written out because that gives people a lot of places to go once you launch it. So you definitely right. need to start there. Right. Um, I haven't, uh, like I probably have, I know I don't have enough, um, enough posts yet. I probably have maybe 15 or 16. Okay. Um, so I would probably want, even for Google, I probably want like what, 30? 30, 30 or um, you probably no, 15 is a solid number, but you'll also want pages included on that. So you'll want to have like an about me page, uh, a, a social media contact page, or, you know, like three or four different pages that you can actually run with. Um, so that way your, your, uh, the search engines have something to scroll through. So okay. it looks like you got home, how to start a blog, WordPress services. You'll probably yeah. want an about me and maybe a contact page. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and this stuff here is through uh, Sumo. That uh, they've got it on my site. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a good idea or no? It can be. It can and can't be. So, in if you're not getting um, pay per click for that, I would take it off because okay. they're basically getting free advertisement off of you. And you know, it might be something that like the the topics really don't really matter um, you know and, and when you don't control like that advertising space they can end up putting stuff on there that you necessarily don't want on your page right yeah because there's already stuff that I really don't yeah so I mean if it if it posts anything if it has anything on there that you don't necessarily want on your blog I would take it off and if you're not getting paid for anyone that's clicking on it I would take it off okay Okay, yeah, so basically I just, my blog is pretty much done. I mean, I have some, a few things that I still have to do, but I just pretty much have to put the content on a couple more pages and I'm ready, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely a good start on it. Okay. All right. Well, there's no, yeah. I put this Facebook thing here, is that... Yeah, Facebook's definitely fine. Um, you'll always want to have some sort of social media way that they can connect with you. Um, right. Facebook being the biggest one, it's easy for them to, you know, go to Facebook, like your page, send you a message if they have anything or reach out to you. 
Um, it's much faster than email, you know, wider audience, and then they can share all of that content on Facebook. Okay. So it's yeah. definitely good to have um, those social media links. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't have any content on the other pages, so they pretty much look the same right now, right? Yeah, so you want to definitely uh, – Make sure that you have content on those pages because that's what the that's what the search engines are going to crawl right, right away. Um, yeah. they're gonna go through your different pages and you know scour that different content. They're probably not going to go through each and every one of your actual posts. Right. But when you have the pages, you'll want to make sure that there's you know some content on that. Yes, exactly. Um, I don't know how I did this, but do you see this slider? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how I did it, but it's, it's all wrong. I don't know. It's, it's got some pictures on it and then it's got, um, about page, some of my, uh, headings for my content and I'm not sure how to get it off. <laughs> okay. Um, it'll most likely be in edit page. Um, it'll probably be in the JavaScript section. Most of the scrolls are in JavaScript uh, okay. or or an actual uh, WordPress plugin. Me personally, I use more Blogger since it's already in Google's platform. It's easier for Google to crawl it. Uh, right. The system that I was showing you with LSN does give you a WordPress blog as well. Okay. Uh, which uh, we have more content on building up the WordPress blog and, you know, that instant content is also shared with, you know, anyone that follows you as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, more than likely it's in the edit page section. Um, it'll probably be in wherever you have your image at right here. That's under your welcome to the right. It's probably going to be close to that same. It might be in the format. <clears throat> yes. I re I'm starting to remember now. Yeah. How I did that. <laughs> I mean the format or layout. Um, so you'll, you'll probably have to dig around just a little bit. I would say it's probably maybe in the appearance or the, or the uh, plugins. Right. And can you, um, is there, can you recommend any good plugins like that? Like I have, um, show you what I have so far. But just anything that can kind of help with the process a little bit. Um, with plugins, it, it all depends on what you're really trying to go for. Um, call to action is going to be good. Um, you depending on if you have some of the other uh, pieces, like you know, um, an autoresponder or something of that nature, which is why I like the LSN system because it's all already built in. Okay. Um, but there's all kinds of different plugins with WordPress. It's right. really just finding one that's going to do what you need it to do. Right. Okay. So, I mean, it's just making sure that you have exactly what you're going to be looking for inside of that plugin and that it functions completely the way that's going to, you know, either A, make you more money or B, it actually serves a functional purpose. Like you have that slider in there, which could be good if you had it sliding to all of your content, but exactly, it's, it's not doing much. <laughs> no. Yeah. I have to take it out of there. I, I think that's, what I was originally trying to do was um, when I when I got when I bought the Genesis and then got the child theme, um, the directions with the child theme, well, directions she gave me, well, that's what I ended up with with that slider. So she didn't uh, either I didn't do it right, obviously, or she gave me the wrong instructions. But she told me to put it couple of plugins on, um, you know, go to the widgets area, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, so. But, yeah. Yeah, definitely a good start. Um, you know, the main thing I would definitely uh, try to get it launched as soon as possible. That way you can start building up organic traffic. Right. Yeah. Exactly. My organic traffic right now, 
lifetime hits is about 30,000. Nice. And all free organic traffic. Uh, okay. No paid for advertising or SEO or ad campaigns. Um, it's literally just going to the top of blue Google and letting people find it. Really? Wow. You're doing something right. <laughs> yeah, just uh, yesterday I had a combination between the last two days of about 600 hits, and I didn't even post any content yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And once you – once you have a, your, um, which is also part of MSI, I uh, have a training that I reserve for my members, which is account linkage, which will allow you to link, um, you know, several sites together. So when you post that one, it goes to all the other ones. Okay. And it's not like one of the apps or anything else um, that will show that you posted like from Google or somewhere else. It'll actually look like it came from you which okay. would give you more organic traffic on those social media sites rather than, you know, using an app or, or something that, you know, auto posts for you. Um, right. Those places, even some people will turn off those posts from certain auto, you know, auto apps. Like they won't see any other posts from Hootsuite or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Okay. So when you're in our member site, um, you'll get training videos, you get a welcome video, um, you get all the steps here, and then you have bonus training. This bonus training has the account linkage video. Okay. All of that. Uh, but then I think I have it. So when I post on my blog, it'll go to several places at one particular time. Let me see the last time that I post. This is on, like, see, I haven't posted since June 25th. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Wow. And so page views yesterday was 464. Page views today was 234. Oh, my gosh. I haven't even posted content in pretty much a month. Yeah, hey. Well, I guess it's going to take a little time for me to get that all done too, but I just, I guess it's important just to get that site launched, right? Yeah, the main thing is to get it launched because you, you can't really drive traffic to it if it's not public facing yet. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, basically, everything that you're doing is kind of at a standstill until that goes live. And right. it's way to launch it earlier and still be developing content because then it'll look like you're posting new content that much more often. Right. Okay. Yeah. So as long as you have more content that you're ready to post, go ahead and launch it and then just keep on continuing to add that content as you go. So when I first launched it, I was adding content regularly. It was probably every other, every couple of days, okay. um, you know, going through this content. Like you can see here back in October, there's content like every couple of days. Yeah. So, um, you know, it all just uh, depends. Like if you're going to continue to continuously launch content, then you're fine with, with launching your website. Don't hold it back because uh, then you can start to drive traffic to it. Right. And that's, that's what I want. Yeah. And then, then it'll start to be searchable. It'll start to continue to grow. Um, you'll be able to build more with it. Um, like I was saying here in the LSN system with the marketing hub, they actually give you a blog as well, and it's based on WordPress. Okay. Uh, yes, I'll definitely check that out. So, uh, so I have this blog as well, uh, which I started to migrate my content over to it, but I just it was it was no point to recreate it. If I could right. support the content, I would, but other than that, this has just a different set of traction. There's, al there's already so much built on my other blog. There's no point to start to redirect traffic to the same content somewhere else. Right. Uh, it's, only, no, it's only good to do that when you have new content coming out that pushes back to the original content. So if right. you push back to the original content, it would just be a copy of it. Right. Um, so let me see if I can pull up one of my posts. 
So when I post, it hits Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Um, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and I want to say one other place as well. <clears throat> so basically, my your my URL from my website should be hooked up to all those social sites. Yeah, you'll definitely want it hooked across. Um, what you'll be able to do. Um, I'm sure WordPress has a plugin for it. I know Blogger does. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have the plugin that will basically link it to your Facebook, Twitter. It'll usually link it to social media. Okay. Um, you have a way to share that. Okay. Um, but just look for a plugin that will share that content. Okay. Let's see if I can get. This is all July. Yeah, it's going to be too far back. Um, but, you know, as far as that, when you when you have that content that's being shared, just make sure that it's hitting multiple places. Uh, looks like you have it through HostGator. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you paying with HostGator? Are you paying on annual or monthly? Monthly, yeah. Okay. Um, that's, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, you, like with the blogger platform, that's another reason why I market it. It's free. Okay. So the hosting comes with the blogger platform? Yeah. The hosting comes with it, um, especially if you get your content up. If you get your content rate up, like since you already have content, Mm -hmm. you'll probably get to um, go into Google AdSense fairly quickly. Yeah, actually, I'm already paying them. Um, I, I, I opened an account with them last week, um, but I guess I, I have to get, I have to get, um, <clears throat> I have to get that site launched because I'm paying for, um, and a, a couple other things too. Well, I, was, um, I was talking more so where they pay you. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so this is Google AdSense right here. This is one of their ads. Okay. Um, this is on my blog. It covers the hosting and they also pay me. Okay. So, so, so with an account with, with um, Google AdWords, you don't have to pay a monthly. Well, AdSense is different than AdWords. Or AdSense is what I meant, yeah. yes. Google AdSense pays you AdWords is where you're actually advertising. Okay. So the blogger platform is built in with, with AdSense. Okay. So once you get this earnings tab unlocked, once you have enough content and they deem you have enough content, you can then place ads. They'll first start you off more than likely with the sidebar, but then you're right. going to get dual. Um, mine, I came over with all of my content intact. So I, had, I instantly had AdSense access. Right. Plus all of the Google searching already. So they pay you. Okay. Uh, based on your click, based on your activity, and I haven't posted, you know, in a month. Right. And it still continues to earn. So yeah. that's where AdSense pays you. Um, so you can definitely use that. Uh, I do have other hosting branches as well that'll probably end up being cheaper because um, I have so many different domains. Um, the other thing that you can do is purchase the domain and have it forwarded. Like my domain, mycamcalendar.com, forwards over my um, blogger domain. Okay. Um, so there's... You, uh, with WordPress, you can submit the domain as well. Um, to where it'll it'll mask your domain. Um, but yeah, definitely. It if you're already paying monthly for that, you definitely need to get it launched. Okay. Yeah. Because then yeah. it's then it's a straight cost and and no earning potential without it launched. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, because I'm paying for stuff that, and I'm getting nothing back. Yeah. It's, 
Yeah, so. <clears throat> definitely, definitely get this up launched. Um, you already have content, so it's ready to go. Um, you know, I've seen people launch with as little as five posts and two pages. Okay. All um, right. So definitely get an about and a contact page. Make sure all your social media links are on that contact page. Um, make sure right. there's a way to email you, a way to message you. Um, right. You already have a picture up there, so that's good. Um, and then just making sure that, you know, you have, you know, let them know that you can even do a post that more content's being built or, you know, like put that in your about section. You know, okay. So all built up. You know, and then you can change that. You can always go back and edit everything that's on there. Okay. But yeah, definitely, definitely get it launched and get it out there. Yeah, that's the main idea, I guess. Say. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, definitely. If you need anything else or any other tips, give me a holler, and we can always hop on another session. If you get stuck on anything, uh, okay. we can definitely, uh, you know, help you with, you know switching anything out or modifying stuff and then you know definitely content points uh, if you need me to review or preview anything that you've written and put different content out there uh, definitely let me know okay thank you so much cam uh, you're welcome okay and i'll have this up and post it on youtube and then i'll uh, send you the link to it okay thanks all right you have a good one yeah you too all right bye bye